Hey, all my comic book friends out there, and welcome back to Comic Book Corner. That's right, guys. Tonight, we are getting ready to do another comic book review. That's right, guys. And tonight's comic book review is Scarlet Spider, issue number six. That's right, guys. Awesome cover here. I love the cover. Um, it's got... The Scarlet Spider, Kane Parker buried in the grave, and it is um, its attacker is or is attacker is Karna Karnanoff. I can't even say the name right. Um, I can say it to myself, but I can't say it at night. But it's uh, it's um, Craven the Hunter's daughter, Anna Karvanoff. That's it. Okay, um, that's the one who hunts. Kane Parker down and uh, this story is nice because it starts a real new story arc um, artwork again is phenomenally done um, it's a great book guys Scarlet Spider is like a sleeper of the year I know a lot of people um, are talking about it and reading it and things like that um, just based off of the community there's a lots of good things said about uh, Scarlet Spider. Um, unfortunately, I do have some bad news about the series. Um, our artist, Ryan Stegman, is leaving the book. And it is a huge blow to this series. I hope the new artist um, really is, is a similar in style art um, because this art is second to none in this book. It is such a nice comic book style. It fits it perfect. Just the story writing um, with Chris Yost and uh, in, in this art is just awesome. And there was a issue number five that was out earlier, uh, obviously last month, that came out. And I noticed right away that the art was different. It wasn't horrible. And yes, it, it could be you know a while to get used to it. Um, if it's that same artist, but I don't know, but it to me it doesn't compare There's such detail in this book and in the facial expressions and the characters and everything else in this book Is just so good that the characters have, are so distinctive with their facial expressions and who they are and what they represent um, That's why the storytelling and the artwork in this particular title to me is, is just very important and when, I mean, look, here we see Kane, um, you know, again, it's just everything about the book is so detailed. And I just hope we don't lose that detail in the, in the next issues to come. This is uh, Kane here under attack by Anna Kornikov. Um, it's just, it's just crazy. I mean, the detail with the blood. Again, I can go on and on about the, the artwork of this book, but again... To me, this is what makes the book. Um, it was like Incredible Hulk. How awesome was that series when it came out? It was awesome artwork. I mean, it was stellar artwork. I was like, God, this is awesome. And it fit the story. It felt, you felt the darkness in it and everything else. And, and it's just like, with this book, I feel the same way. You feel the action. You feel like you're part of the comic book. It draws you in. It makes you look at every single panel um, of this book. I mean, here we can see more detail. Uh, it, it's just so good. Uh, we don't really see in this issue too much of actually Scarlet Spider himself in the costume. But again, perfect artwork, guys. Um, that character's name is Annabelle. He's the one that's watching uh, the young immigrant. Um but then at the end, here we see another. Here's the one page you see of actual um, Kane in his costume. I mean, it is so good. It's not drawn any better than this, guys. And it's a 
shame that only six issues in we're changing the book um, already and I just hope that it's going to be that good um, but basically in this issue um, Kane is being hunted down by one of the Cravens and it's a, and it's Craven the Hunter's daughter and um, and what happens here is you get to see a little of her and she's she's hunting down um, you know Kane and we have Arsali who's the young immigrant now who has these like weird psychic powers uh, about her and she like knows everything that Kane is thinking what he likes what he doesn't like and, and he's like freaking her him out and uh, and Annabelle here is the um, is the one that kind of watches over her and they're, those three are kind of like roommates and um, you know in this whole thing we we see that Anna here is the hunter and she's out to destroy Cain and what's good about this book is a nice little detail is that she basically starts this fire in this this uh, bar or like club or whatnot it, and she pulls out a bottle of Yoast 86 well if you get if you tie the two together it's uh, it's Chris Yoast that's you know obviously his date and everything of when, I guess when he was born or whatnot or it's 85 and um, and it just shows that it's it's his stamp on the comic I, I love that about it that's what's so good about this book um, and we can see that that she sets a whole fire and blaze and gets people all running and she actually drugs Kane with a, a, a slice in the arm and uh, you know he's trying to rescue people and the crazy thing is is that Kane has been it's always been this hardened like vigilante but when push comes to shove in the book we see that when Anna is in danger and the building is about to collapse on top of her he saves her and he's really become more and more of, of like a superhero type now and uh, and this is witnessed at the end of the book um, because they're they're hunting him and uh, and at the end of the book uh, we can see an excellent page here of Craven and Anna and Craven just goes um, is he dead? And she goes, no, Papa. Uh, then you listen. And then he goes, then you listen, good girl. Tell me what you learned. And basically what she's saying is that the doc, the hotel, the doctor, the policeman, and the girl, the bartender, he, she's like, I saw it all. She goes, but there's something else. He's changed. And she's talking about Cain. And Craven goes, how? And he goes, he wouldn't kill me. He's pretending to be a hero, and it's made him soft. And and he goes, did you think this would please me? And Anna goes, no. And she goes, are you going to kill me, Dad? And she goes, not yet, Anna, for we have hunting to do. And again, that's that last page. So again, Cain was being hunted. She was unsuccessful in the hunt. But Craven and her look like they're going to team up, and they're going to... Um, it looks like that they're going to hunt Cain. Also, in the last page, we see a, 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 a at the end of it, we see Madame Webb going through some weird psychic phase. Something serious is going to happen, and they kept on relating to as the darkness is coming. Um, and also, we see that crazy like sun flame character guy that was in like the first issue. Looks like he's going to be coming back. Um, so there's a lot going on, guys. There's a lot going on in this uh, in this story, and it looks like the writing will be uh, will be phenomenal, like it's been um, from the beginning. Uh, I just hope that the art goes along with it. So, guys, um, tell me what you think about Scarlet Spider. Um, how you guys feel about this series, and how would you how do you feel now that about Ryan Stegman is leaving, being that the art was so good in this book, and I'm sure this was the reason why a lot of you bought this book besides the great story writing. All right, so this is my review on this book. Again, I give it a five out of five. I love this story. I love this book, everything about it. 
Let's just hope it stays that way. All right, guys. So thanks for watching Comic Book Corner. And until the next comic book review, this is Spider Slayer signing off. Take care, guys. Bye.